Hi, I'm Dar Zook with the Healy Technology Report, and today we're going to have a look at a Yaystar TA400 FXS Gateway uh, and how to do a quick configuration. Hi, so I'm Dar Zook with the Healy Technology Report. We're going to have a look at this Yaystar TA400 uh, ATA. Now, this is a four-port ATA. It also comes in an eight-port, and it's called the TA800. Uh, and I've got my uh, test phone plugged into port one here. We've got the uh, LAN and then the power plugged in as well. But before we get into it, let me mention uh, about our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Healy Canada. Uh, please subscribe. Every time we got new videos, uh, you'll get a notification about that. So you'll find that youtube.com slash Sheila Canada. Also, I've got a coupon for this at the end of the video for our online store, buyphonesonline.ca. So let's get back into this. Now that we've got my phone plugged in, uh, I'm going to pl pick up my test phone. I have my dial tone. I'm going to dial star three times and wait. So it says press one to uh, check the IP address. I'm going to do that. All right, so now that we've got the IP address, uh, we can go in and have a look at the interface. So it said 10.100.97.121. Um, let's have a look at the screen. Okay, so uh, I'm Darwin with the Healy Technology Report. What you will notice is that my IP address here has changed. So uh, you definitely want to stick a static IP address because it's very unusual. Uh, most devices adhere to DHCP rules, but the uh, the TA400 is requesting a new IP from the uh, uh, DHCP server on uh, every reboot. So I'm going to go in here, admin, password is password. Now, the first thing uh, we want to do, of course, we want to change the password, uh, but before that, we want to upgrade the firmware. So we're going to go into system, and from system, we're going to go into firmware update, and it's asking for your URL. So we're going to go over to the Yaystar site, uh, VoIP gateway firmware. You can see it here. Uh, we're going to click on, you can see in the bottom corner here, the uh, URL. Uh, we can right click, choose uh, copy link location. This is Firefox, so it's a little bit different in Chrome, but uh, you can still do it in, in Chrome or the other browsers. And we're going to paste the URL in. So this is firmware uh, 41.19.0.32. We're going to go start and update the firmware. Now, in this particular case, I know that the firmware is at that version. So um, it's not going to be making much of a change here. Now, while we're waiting, I'll mention that we are a certified Yaystar training partner. And so we have classroom training for all the uh, Yaystar certification. Now, this has failed because, of course, we're currently at the version. To find out more about our classroom training, go to uh, heliavoice.ca. Now, let's uh, have a look at our system info. And you'll see the uh, firmware version 41.19.0.32. And so it's the same version. And that's, uh, that's the reason it failed in our uh, situation here. Now, next thing we want to do is have a look at the password. And we want to change your password. Now, password is important to be a strong password uh, to avoid hacking and people taking over your account. I am not going to use a strong password today. Uh, but it is quite important to do that. Okay, so now that we've got that, we're going to type in log back in. All right, now host name is important too. This is um, uh, YouTube demo uh, TA400. It makes it a lot easier to find the device on your network if it has a uh, more descriptive name. And 
then we are going to, let me just have a look at my, <laughs> my instructions here really quickly. Uh, we are going to go to uh, change our dial patterns. So uh, under the gateway menu, under our dial plan template, uh, and we'll have a look at our dial plans. Now, again, uh, we're going to, this is for a North American dialing, which is also known as NANPA. Uh, and so right now there's a single dot that means match everything. Uh, and we need to add some different ones. So we're going to add an 11 digit, um, uh, 11 digit North American number. So that's NXX, NXX, one, two, three, four. Uh, so that's 11 digit number. And we're going to add that and we're going to add another one. We're going to do an NXX, NXX, one, two, three, four. Four. That's a 10 digit number. Now for our Heliotel trunks that we're going to provision, uh, we need to prepend a one on it. So we're going to do that. Uh, now we're also going to put uh, N uh, X, uh, well, N11. Now this is any digit, N stands for any digits from uh, two all the way to nine. X is any digit from, well, any digit, zero all the way through to nine. Uh, so this represents your 911 calls, 611, 411, 311, 211 uh, calls. And then we're going to add, an, uh, we're going to add the dot back in. And um, the dot is, of course, for anything that doesn't match these other rules. Now, this is, this is really important because uh, sometimes you have to wait uh, after you type in the numbers before it starts dialing. And by putting in these here, it means that you'll start dialing immediately. So it just, it really speeds up uh, your dialing process. Now, uh, now that we have done that, next thing we're going to do is set up our hunt groups. Now this is uh, for outbound, uh, okay, we're going to add all these in. So all the ports are on a single default hunt group okay and we're going to click save on that uh, next thing we're going to do is uh, to, uh, have a look at our uh, codex and our VoIP settings so this is where we actually put our credentials in we're going to use a single set of credentials that apply to all the ports so I'm going to put in uh, these credentials are going to be coming from your uh, VoIP provider. In this case, we're using Heliotel. Heliotel is a stable uh, service certified and licensed by the Canadian government. Uh, so we do provide phone service here in Canada and I recommend you check us out at heliavoice.ca. Uh, uh, so that's the number that we're assigning here. Now this registration mode needs to be in template register. That allows us to uh, register this account to multiple um, uh, ports. So I'm going to fill this in. Domain uh, failover IP is uh, well, it's the same, so we're not going to fill that in. Uh, we're going to type in the username. Now, this uh, username, of course, is only for uh, this video, so don't. Uh, you don't need to try and use it it just will not work otherwise uh, for a username authentication name and then of course the password now if we have a look at advanced uh, this is all pretty standard moolah is what's used here in north america for like 99 percent of of all calls uh, you can choose uh, 729 but on this particular device you have to add in a uh, 729 license it doesn't come with one uh, so if you're trying to use that um, it's not going to work now caller id we're going to put in a default caller id here as well Okay, and save. Now that we have done that, uh, we're gonna have a look at our port list. Now the port list here, this is really important. Uh, some fancy changes that we need to do here. So caller ID, this, this might be uh, like Helia for the caller ID name and the number. The number uh, generally needs to be a, looks like a phone number. 
um, and your carrier will probably restrict that. Also here, the DID number, this allows for patterns and this blocks uh, random or hacking or weird uh, anonymous phone calls that come in. So unless the call comes in to a number or a pattern that matches your number in here, uh, the device will reject it, which is uh, pretty important. Now here's a really important uh, thing to look at, the forwarding type. When someone calls port one and port one is busy, uh, we want that call to go to uh, ring on port two. And so we need to set that up. When on busy, we're gonna go to import, internal port, port two, and save that. Okay, so now we need to do that on each and every port here. So uh, when port two, you can see we're in port two here is busy. It's going to ring on port three and we'll save that. You know what? I need to go back in there. Uh, I didn't modify the front page, which we need to do. So same thing. Uh, name, number. And then, of course, we did the second page already. And now we're going on to the third line. So third line. And DID number uh, and ports we need to put. When busy, we're going to go to the fourth line. And then, of course, on the fourth line here, when the fourth line is busy, uh, we can forward it to an external number, uh, but there's no more internal ports. Now, if you need more uh, ports, uh, there is a TA-800, which comes with eight ports instead of four ports like the TA-400. Okay, so uh, those are the changes that we need to make for setting this up. And that is pretty much it. So uh, we're going to apply our changes that we made. We're going to reboot. Uh, this takes a couple minutes to reboot. Uh, and then, of course, once it has rebooted, because we don't have a static IP, it's going to reissue a different DHCP uh, address. So we're going to have to track down that uh, as well. There's a couple ways uh, to find out if this is finished booting. First of all, this screen will go to the admin, um, uh, the login screen for the TA400. Also on here, there is um, a, uh, an icon of a person walking. And uh, under normal operation, that is blinking. If it's not blinking, it's booting or, or doing something else. So we're going to have a look at the light there. Uh, I also like to ping the IP address uh, to see when it, uh, when it comes back up. Now, while we're, uh, we're waiting, uh, I'll mention to you that uh, we do we are a certified YASAR training partner and you'll find training uh, uh dates and the different certifications from Yaystar on our website at heliovoice.ca. So please check that out. Uh, also, uh, we have our online store and a coupon at the end of this video at buyphonesonline.ca. So please uh, check out, you know, every time we install a new product or something new that we're using, we uh, do a video on it and uh, we also uh, post it up on our online store uh, so others have access to that as well uh, so uh, i'm going to uh, pause and i'll be right back as finished as soon as this is finished booting Okay, so um, it's uh, the device is reloaded. Uh, you notice here that the IP address has changed. It's incremented again, so it's got a new IP address from the server. Uh, that will get you if, uh, if you're not aware of it. So uh, if we have a look at the uh, port status here, what we'll notice is the status is okay all the way down. Now that is your SIP registration status. So that's the important one. The phone status is whether it senses an, uh, a phone plugged into the FXO port. Now this is my test phone. I'm going to, um, well, it's, it says star, star, star here, but that's not what we want. Uh, we're going to dial an actual phone number.
And so it's uh, this is my uh, cell phone number. And uh, we've got we've got the call coming in. So success. Uh, I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Canada for more great videos. Check us out for classroom training here in Canada and our online store. I really appreciate you watching and stay tuned for more. Bye for now.